So what is going on guys and welcome back to the very second episode of the QPR career mode and basically just in this episode there isn't going to be any gameplay it's basically just going to be the transfers that we done I've actually speeded up this process because otherwise it was going to be me speaking for 10 minutes and you wouldn't want that so the people that I were interested in were Aaron Ramsey with one very person that I was very interested in. He was from Arsenal and he was only 70, sorry, he was only 21 years old and he was 77 rated. The other player I was very interested in was Lash, who was a good right midfielder who was very quick and it was also very young. And the other player we were interested in was Jonathan Biani. But I didn't think we were going to be getting him because of the price that they wanted for him. They wanted too much. And at QPR, as you know, we don't have that much money with QPR. And because of the money issues, we can't get them. But one player we were very interested in getting was Yassine Benzia. Because as we um, the Wellington Nem thing wasn't going too well, we were looking to try and get... Benzia. They did then um, come back and say that they didn't accept the Arsenal offer and they wanted six and a half million plus DJ Campbell and I thought yeah he was going to be my captain if he come and we did then look at a centre back but we did then we didn't actually go on to do anything with that centre back we did make a bid offer for him but in the end we didn't do anything and we didn't bring him into the club. We did then look at some other players, as you see there, the transfer offer was unacceptable for, for Nem in, uh, Wellington Nem. Um, he was one player that I was looking forward to bringing into the club, but unfortunately things didn't turn out as I was hoping they was going to, and we didn't get him. But the offer was then accepted for Aaron Ramsey, and we went on to offer him 40000 and a four-year deal, and he was going to be a crucial first-team player at the QPR camp. Our transfer offer was unacceptable for Jonathan Biani, and we did offer 7.6 million plus Bobby Zamora, but in the end we didn't actually do anything. And Yasin Benzia, we did up the deal for that as well, because we wanted to try and bring him in, and he was going to be playing um, as a second uh, striker role with Loic Remy up front. The last was then accepted, and we did then go on, but we did then have a friendly against Troyes, we didn't play it, but we did actually win 3-1, one goal, two goals from Townsend and one from Turapt. We did then get the contract offer accepted for Aaron Ramsey and Aaron Ramsey was the first player we brought into the QPR squad and what a player it was that we brought in. Jonathan Biani's transfer offer was also accepted but like I said we didn't go on to get him because we didn't have the sufficient funds to go on and get him. Yassine Benzia did um, accept the offer and we went on to offer him a contract offer and he was only 5000 a week which was quite amazed. The transfer offer for Wellington then was then um, unaccepted and I thought that was it. There was no point trying to do anything else and I just decided that was enough. Lash was accepted but we didn't have enough money to um, to get him. As you see there it would have been in the minus 1 million and because of that well we couldn't get him. They were then, rumours were going around saying that Tarap's position was taken. No, it definitely wasn't. Tarap is going to be playing and so is Aaron Ramsey. They both will be because they're both two great players and I don't believe that any of them two should be leaving the club at all because they're two very good players and I think they should both be playing. So, we did then have a very hard game against Schalke but we did manage to win that as well. One goal from Tarap and one from Remy. We were on a very big roll and with the contract offer was then accepted for Yassine Benzia. We did then go on and actually accept the deal for Benzia, which we were very happy about. And we brought in Benzia, but we did decide not to sign the centre back in the end. And Laz we couldn't and Bia Biani we couldn't either. The Yuxi Sung did then leave the club as well. And also another player that left the club was, I can't remember. But anyway, we did have, then have another game up against Celta de Vigo at home at Loftus Road and one goal from Samba and one from Remy in the 82nd minute to get us our third win, which we were happy about that we had managed to dwell. We had won all of our friendly sim in them, which we were very happy about. And we're now coming to the end of this episode now. So, 
please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We did then get a transfer offer for Jay Boffrood. We then accepted it, and we moved on, because Jay Boffrood wasn't going to be accepted. And Jermaine Genius was also sold. So, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Can we hit 8 likes on this video, please? That would be incredible if we could. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.